Hello, dear Scorpios. Happy, happy Saturday um, for March 23rd. So this is going to be your reading. So let's get into it, Scorpio. I hope that you're doing great. And your guys' spirits for Scorpio. Show me the energy for Scorpio. Okay, let's take another one. All right. We did want to see that moon card come out, but let's see if it shows up again. All right, so... What is the energy for Scorpio? Shouldn't the last for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, this is what I'm getting right off the bat. Um, here with your, um, I'm gonna put, pull my screen down a little bit. You have the um, Seven of Cups and you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Hmm. And the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So here, Scorpio, it's like, you were with this king of wands and played your feelings, played with your heart and mind, soul, money, whatever, sex. And you got the feeling that something about this person, the, what, the, the things that they were doing to you was not changing. No matter how many times you told this person about what was bothering you, they seemed never to listen. So... The wheel was not turning, you know, it was not going anywhere. Everything that you put into this was not going anywhere. All your time, investment, energy. And this King of Wands kind of sat over here and just let you do all the work. And, but you had a change of heart here that, you know, you're trying to build yourself and you wanted to be with someone who's going to build with you. Um, you're invested into yourself. And so you thought this King of Wands that you were investing in was going to be there for you and support you and love you and care about you and be with you as a future. But it didn't happen here. This is your thoughts with this, but this is what you're realizing that this wasn't going anywhere. This wasn't changing. This was not building. This was nothing. So this person made you feel, this man or woman, made you feel... That there's, you don't have a choice here. Even if you love this person. You had a lot of passion with this person. Could have been dealing with Aries. So you saw this was not going anywhere with this person. Alright. So you had to get yourself out of this situation. And make a judgment call here. And you had to realize with this person... Um, you had to choose. Even though you love them, you had to choose what was best for you. And there's the love, right? Why is the Ace of, Pen Ace of Cups here? Okay. Hmm. So here with the Hermit card in reverse and the Judgment card is something you can no longer deal with. You said, I give up. I don't want, I don't want to be, um, you were trying to work this. You were trying to get through a situation with this person. You were patient. You were giving them a hundred percent. And the only thing they were thinking about was taking from you. Like I said, it's one-sided. And you had to make a judgment call here because even though you had this full cup of love for them and, you know, things kind of progress pretty fast, but and time has passed you here. Like I said, it's a lot of time that what you felt was wasted because you felt like this person was doing nothing but manipulating you for attention. They only wanted your attention and, and it kept telling you things you wanted to hear through the communication eight of wands. You were getting out your heart here. But this person was taking you. Was like putting you as an option. A backup plan. And putting you in a situation. Where you did not want to be with the hermit in reverse. You did not want to be in this situation. So you made this judgment call. Um, cried your eyes out. I feel like you just cried and cried and cried. And the judgment 
of this was you needed to make some changes. And you did. With the manipulation here, with the magician in reverse, this person was not giving you what you deserve. It was not bringing good things to your life. It was almost like you felt like you were asking yourself, why would he do, why would she do that to me? Why would he do that to me? Okay. So let's look in your person's energy. What is Scorpio's person? Ooh, okay. What is Scorpio's person thinking about Scorpio? Connecting energy. The sun card. Tower moment. They brought down a tower moment on you. Okay, Scorpio, and they're connecting energy with you. The way they're feeling is, um, like I said, you explained a lot to this person, and they just didn't get it. They didn't think you had the power to walk away because they felt like you were trauma bonded here. They had you emotionally attached to them through manipulation. The Four of Pentacles is saying, you know, they're still holding on to this connection with you. I don't know why. We'll find out. Why are they holding on to that connection with you? Why are they holding on? Um, but their energy felt like here they were very competitive with you. They wanted you to suffer in some way. I don't know why. But again, the hangman's are reversed. They're hanging on to you. And they are not giving you any kind of a movement right now with the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Swords is in reverse. They're not giving you any kind of movement, any kind of acknowledgement. No communication. But you have the sun card here. They wanted your attention, your energy. So, let's see about that four pentacles. I don't know why they... Uh, they brought a tower moment for you. Why is this four pentacles here for Scorpio not letting go? One more, please. They're holding on to you because you're demanding the truth. You're seeking clarity. And they're holding on to you because you are a straightforward person with the truth. And they can't control you with the, the um, trauma bonded here. They feel like you're coming out of it. But so in some sense of that being said, they like your straightforwardness. They like you to be direct which Scorpios are, um, but they're in competition with that. They feel you are a challenge. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. Right? So I'm going to put that over here. So let's see. They're holding on to you for that energy. I do feel like, and there's no communication Yeah, um, it's like here, Scorpio, they had you in a breadcrumbing situation, and you told them about it. You're not giving me anything. You're not giving me nothing to hold on to. That's why you're being released here in this Eight of Swords. You're starting to get this clear thinking about, and the truth. They know you know the truth. They know they have been playing with your mind. And breadcrumbing you to keep just enough to keep you holding on to them. One text, two texts a day, maybe, or a text every th few days. And they'll tell you, I love you, but disappear on you. All right, so let's see what else they're thinking for Scorpio's energy. Queen of Cups. What's this person thinking about Scorpio? Because this is the. Empress and the juggling card, but let's see. It kind of slid out, but let's see if it goes back. All right, the Knight of Wands, they're not trying to chase you. They are what? What's the star card? 
Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, they were breadcrumbing you, and you decided to pick up your love and take it elsewhere, and they, they see that. They see that you were walking away from them, and they couldn't play you anymore. Because you found out the truth, and you were getting yourself out of this, this situation. Then you have the Ten of Cups and the Star card. <laughs> this is funny. I mean, it's almost, it's not funny, but it is funny. Like, how dare they do all this stuff when they had you, they didn't want to be with you. And the moment you decide to walk away and pick up your own cup of love here and walk away, now they're stopped playing you here. They stopped the playing the games. They're not communicating. They're, you know, they're just sitting here. Now they're thinking, Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, Scorpio's Ten of Cups. What am I going to do without Scorpio? Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. They still have hope for this, Scorpio. And they're going to come back in with some love bombing. So be careful with that trauma bonding. But they do see a future with you. Go figure. They think you are the person for them. It's like your power of walking away has made this person come to terms that you were a wonderful person. So that's what happens sometimes. Now, do you, with this judgment card here, you can say, hey, deal with your own karma. I'm out of this situation, which I feel like you're doing. I'm out. And you may have to went on and moved on, like you're looking here because your love and kindness and the Queen of Cups is a beautiful person, male or female. But when their playing days are over, they see that you're walking away. But now they it's the reverse. They want you back. Um, well, I'm not going to say they want you back. They just they just don't think that they, you ever left them. But at the same time, they see it. So they want this Ten of Cups fulfillment with you. Um, I don't know why this person did not come forward with you with a, with a Will of Fortune up here. Why didn't they just take a... Take, this as a beautiful person, but they were blindsided with you, Scorpio. They knew they could not play with you. You found out the truth and got clarity of who they are. They can't play you. So now they want the Ten of Cups. It's no more fun. But they loved your attention, your energy, everything that you bring is sun card, star card. Sun is a star. They still have hope for this. Even if you're not speaking. They think in the future you're going to be together. Alright, let me change decks right here. Let's get, what is the outcome for Scorpio and their person? What is the outcome for Scorpio and their person? Angels and spirits. What's the outcome? Ugh, reconciliation. What am I telling you? Six of Cups. They're thinking about you. You're not. They're thinking here they're going to let you go do your own thing. Hmm. But they know eventually you're going to. They can get back with you. Ace of Wands. Change. So what is something about this is you're teaching this person that you couldn't tolerate them anymore. You couldn't wait on them. They, and it's like this person had you waiting. They had you in a time zone like frozen time period. You know, um, it's 2024, March, of, you know, March 23rd, 2024. And they want to keep you in March 23rd, 2024. And this person was just... Waiting, making you wait. And they froze time with the Will of Fortune in reverse. But they feel like you are their dream wish come fulfilled. So whatever they're doing, evidently they're not ready for a relationship. But at the same time, they know you're the one that they want to be with. So they want to reconcile. 
and make this change happen. So silence here, Scorpio, is on your side. I think you picked yourself up, walked away from this, and this shocked this person. This is shocking to them. And you may have told them you're out on dates or you're moving on, you're finding someone else. At first they didn't take you serious, but now I think they feel it like they're losing you. They lost you to somebody else. Why is the Ace of Wands tell me about Scorpio and the outcome for Scorpio and their person? There's a moon card. And that's interesting. I see that because there's going to be a um, lunar eclipse on Monday. And a solar eclipse. What is this about? is this give me a minute Scorpio because it's connecting to the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse the change what is this about I'm getting a different message because the moon car is typically about secrets the, the change of the ace of wands to grow this the wish fulfillment to dreams it's going to come true. It's like their dream is going to come true during the solar or lunar eclipse. Manifesting. Hmm. Okay. What is the moon card here regarding the Ace of Wands and the reconciliation? They. They want to change this. this. Is what I hear. They're not going to be sneaky. They're not going to be. They're in their head over you. By the way, they want the stress to stop. So they're very stressful. The tables have turned on this person. They don't want you out with someone else. They don't want to lose you here. They have regrets right here. What's about the moon card? I'm still... The moon card. And reconciliation for Scorpio. Why is the moon card here? Angel spirits. Can you show me for Scorpio and their person? Show me the cards. Wow. King of Wands in reverse. And the Emperor. They want to be your man or your woman. And they're not playing any more games with you. That's a change. This is going to be a shocking change to you. Okay. Let's dig a little bit more. And the Emperor is about. Too about controlling. It can be. Um, but they're not going to allow. You to walk away from them out of their life because they know they need to make this change with you and they want that ten of cups with you for the emperor what's his intentions here for the emperor and you can be the emperor scorpio too you're taking control of your life here too but let's see if the empress matches up what is the emperor here for scorpio Show me one. There we go. Yeah. They're making a decision about you. They're going to choose you. Whatever they had going on in their life or their, their childish ways that they were doing, they're ready to choose you out of the world. To come back to you. To, to make this change happen. They're not... It might feel like this is over with, Scorpio, but it's not. There's the Ten of Pentacles to prove it. They're investing in you. And look behind it. But you have the Ace of Pentacles. But you have the Ten of Pentacles here to confirm that they are trying to commit. Here's the choice they have. Either commit, they're going to have to come back to you. Because you figured out up here that they're not committing to you. They're not giving you anything. They're not doing anything for you. They're not helping. They're, it's one-sided. You were doing all the effort and you told them that. And if you have it, you will be, or you should. 
And they saw you putting all this effort, effort, so they did not have to give you anything. You were given, they were giving you 1%, you were given 99. Okay? But you pulled back your energy and you walked away with it. And now they're starting to realize, oh, I need to be committed to Scorpio. I, you know, the world is hard to find a good person. And I'm com committed to Scorpio. I didn't even know I was committed to Scorpio. They made a commitment to themselves. When they were acting single, but in their heart, they were committed to you. Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? They are want to reconcile. Just, just stay silent, Scorpio. Let them make that change. Let them come to you. Let that emperor come to you, male or female. Don't cave because you've been giving too much. Yeah, this King of Pentacles wants in this relationship. Um, they know they didn't have a lot to offer you, but they do want that relationship. Right? And they're going to take that risk with you. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Um, they are willing to take this risk with you. It's either that or they lose you forever. They already lost you. They're going to try to win you back here. They know they did not do good to you. And and this and they were the King of Pentacles is a very serious, serious person and upright, but in reverse, they were being childish. They were being immature. They were not um being a man or being a real woman with you. They were just not um being serious. But they can't play with you anymore. So now with this, they want to come back to you, take a risk, a new risk, get your, you know, there's a sun again. And they want to take this relationship to work out. <coughs> okay? So, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Um, I hope this resonated for you. Leave a comment if you like. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for all the people who are donating to my channel. It really, I am very blessed that you are donating to me. Um, but click that like button and um, subscribe. So I am Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon. That does readings only for Scorpio. So um, the keep up, every day it changes. Okay, life is that way. Every day can be a new day. Every day is a new day. And But right now for Scorpio on your advice here, I would just be quiet. Do your own life. Let this person come and give you, you know, at least 60% of the relationship. And you give 40. But pull back. Let that person come to you. It might be 30 days because they're upset and they're mad right now because they can't get their way like a baby without a candy. You know, a, ba a kid wanting a lollipop. And you say no. You put your boundaries here. But they know they need to change here. So the only way this is ever work is when an emperor comes back to you and they have changed because they wanted to not because you forced them to okay but they have to know it's their fault so scorpio this is what i have for you but i do see them marching their self back to you and bringing you what you need to what you need okay so it's up to you if you want to take it all right so look at my other videos it might help you on your journey um look under my community tabs and just let me know uh, if you need a reading, look in the description box, okay? All right, send in love and light, and many blessings to you. Take care. Bye-bye.